Well, Brent Sarah, Connecticut's attorney general and mayors across the state are reaffirming their commitment to protect immigrants from deportation. William Tong says he's meeting with leaders in other Democrat-run states right now to come up with a plan before the new administration officially takes over in the new year. Dozens of immigrants and allies gathered on the front lines of the state capitol front steps just hours after President-elect Donald Trump confirmed that he will make good on his promise to deport millions of undocumented immigrants currently living in the country. State leaders say there are currently around 100,000 of them who call the nutmeg state home. Rally goers are calling on elected officials to fight federal efforts to separate families and to keep Connecticut as a state that is welcoming to immigrants. Attorney General Tong says it's going to be a battle, but one that he's ready to take on. The rubber is going to meet the road when your kid comes home and says that my best friend or kid on my soccer team, right, he doesn't have any parents tonight because ICE picked up his parents and they're in a detention facility outside of Connecticut. The rubber is going to meet the road when some kid gets sick and they need to see a doctor, okay, and someone wants to deny them access to health care. By the way, people in this building. He went on to say that state attorney generals from across the country are getting together to draft contingency plans, including using the legal system to block deportation orders. Joining Tong today and activists were Hartford Mayor Arudin Aralampalam, New Haven Mayor Justin Elliker, Stanford Mayor Caroline Simmons, and Norwalk Mayor Harry Willing. All of them vowed to protect immigrants living in their cities and stand in solidarity with them. Tong also weighed in on the possibility of the new administration changing immigration immigration law on birthright citizenship, something he benefited from as a child of Chinese immigrants. He said this is a fight that impacts real people who make our communities run and function. We can expect to hear more specifics on what he plans to do to protect people in the coming weeks. Brent and Sarah.